even in there. Is that, where's that Slim Jim? So it is SDCC 50. I am here with Matt and Brian, aka Zach Ryder and Kurt Hawkins. It is. It's I didn't realize 50 that. years. Those guys setting me up for failure this whole trip. He, so, he told me tonight was going to be calm and not crazy. Yeah, it's been him, insane. I, I told him preview night's kind of a little, little low key. Yet. It's, 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 look at this, it's nuts. It is pretty crazy out there tonight. If you have like one survival tip, for SDCC or cons in general, what would you say? Bring a phone charger. <laughs> okay. That's that's my number. Cause you're taking so many pictures and videos, and then if your phone dies, what are you gonna do? I, we have so much to do tomorrow that I'm thinking about how much caffeine I have to consume. <laughs> just, just keep to it coming. Stay coffee. like on the ball and I'm alert. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. How can good. I get my hands on, on the this Darth, Darth, Vader. Vader. Darth Vader? Now I know there's many versions of this. Can you explain oh, yeah. that? Yeah, so there are infinite possibilities with this Darth Vader, right? I think, oh my god. Every sim single limb is different. So there are almost, there's potentially no two figures alike. So they're based on the original prototypes from Kenner. Uh, you can get them here at our booth uh, at SDCC. Uh, you know, you know, I definitely need one of these. You know that Matthew here loves Star Wars. I do. I do. And he loves prototypes. I love prototypes. So he's just like... It's like... You, you want to take that guy home with I'm you? I'm going to just explode. Uh, I recently... Uh, just got and started a whole vintage Star Wars collection. I was with him when I did it. In one day. In one day. Oh, I, I've you never had a collection for him in one day. Wars, yeah, so I'm only missing one. one. I'm missing uh, Luke Skywalker in his Stormtrooper disguise, and then I have everybody from the original line. Is that like your holy grail right now? Is that what you're it's on the lookout for? Like, that hard to get. I just can't find him in a mint white outfit. I don't want the uh, yellowing, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Um, but this... Crazy. This I would keep mint on card. It's beautiful. Yeah, I think we it's got not, a, it's, it's, it's not a real prototype. Big special like edition it. sticker there that love, makes it a little unique. Oh, beautiful. This is great. So, and, uh, the Macho Man, the Slim Jim Macho yeah, Man. <laughs> Go get him, brother. Go get him. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Oh, snap. This guy's missing a Slim Jim. He's missing yeah, a Slim Jim. Right? A, He's Slim Jim list. He's not even in there. Is that, where's that Slim Jim? He's one Slim Jim. He must have gotten hungry. He must have got hungry. Yeah. Uh, I want to thank Entertainment Earth personally because you guys were the only people who sent us these. The only and if, ones. And if it wasn't for Entertainment Earth, we would not have the Slim Jim we, Macho uh, Man. We opened it, reviewed it, loved right. it on the Major Wrestling Figure podcast. Beautiful uh, figure. This is awesome. This is cool that, you know, there's a WWE product this cool and unique here at SDCC, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, it's one of the most anticipated items here. I, I, so you guys, you sold out of the pre-orders like instantly, right? Yeah, people were really excited to get their hands on Macho Man. I think, uh, I mean, I think I've been saying Mattel needs Comic-Con exclusives and this one, this just screams Comic-Con to me, you know? Yeah. Unique. It's just a unique. unique. And I think uh, <laughs> fans who might not necessarily collect wrestling figures would love this because everyone remembers this iconic you know, commercial. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Souls. So. They, ran the, they ran throughout the 90s, man. And, so, yeah. and obviously they did because it sold out on Entertainment Earth. Oh, yeah. People Done. were really excited to get Done. their hands on that. And if it wasn't so, for you guys, we wouldn't have it. So <laughs> thank you very true, much. True. So what is your, your, your favorite thing in your entire collection? If you had to pick one Ooh, thing, what is it? My favorite thing would probably be my prototype Hasbro WWE Rhythm and Blues Greg the Hammer Valentine. It was in a Toys R Us ad. It was never released. And I have the one from the ad. So uh, that's my crown jewel. That's my holy grail. Awesome. What about you? That's a tough question. Uh, mine would be more like sentimental. Uh, Jack Specific used to make the WWE figures, gave us prototypes of our figures that are supposed to come out in the outfits we wore when we won the tag team titles. Those were good ones. So uh, maybe that, because they're replaceable. I think it's like a one of one, as far as I know. You know. Very cool. It's nice to have a sentimental one yeah, in there. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's all I have for you guys right now. Thank Whoa. you so much for tuning in. Really love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, ooh yeah. Okay, hit me with your best. Oh yeah. Ooh yeah. Show them the bold spot that matches. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Stay tuned for more.